The cross stitch fill is a fill that can be used to fill a large area with a low stitch count. To alter the default settings of this stitch, open Object Properties. The fabric count will control the size of the cross. A larger number will create a smaller stitch, while a smaller number will create a larger stitch. The number of threads can also be changed. This will affect the number of times that the thread passes over the same cross, so you can create more coverage with more threads. In addition, the stitch style can be changed from a diagonal cross to an upright cross. The floss direction controls which way the top leg of the cross is directed. When two objects have the same cross size, the stitches will align. Stippling creates a fill made up of run stitches which meander within the object. There are three different types that can be applied, stipple run, stipple stem stitch, and stipple back stitch. Stem stitch and back stitch will create a more ornate fill. To adjust the default stippling stitches, open Object Properties. The stitch length can be adjusted for smoothing out tight curves. The run count defines the number of stitch repetitions from one to nine with odd numbers only. The loop spacing is adjusted for a denser or more open stitch. And the inset step will offset the stippling from the object outline. To have more space between the stippling and the outline, enter a larger number. For stipple stem stitch, you have additional properties that can be altered that relate to the stem stitch itself. You can adjust the line thickness, which affects the width of the stem stitch. The spacing affects the distance between the stitches and the angle affects the angle of the stem stitch. You can also choose a single or a triple stem stitch. The stitch thickness will change the distance between the forward and backward stitches of the stem stitch. If you rest your cursor in the value box, a blue arrow appears showing you just how the stem stitch will be affected. For a stipple back stitch, you also have additional changes that you can make to the stitch. These include stitch length, the stitch thickness, the overlap of the stitch, and the number of strokes for the back stitch.